Hey, what's up, y'all? Mike here with the watch this video for uh, Tuesday, October 31st, Halloween. Um, SPY gapped up today, but really put in a narrow range. Um, but still a big day for the market. Dow was up over 500 points. There's the intraday on the SPY. So after the gap up, sideways all day, right? Um, not the best environment for day trading. Let me slide this over in case somebody's watching my video for the first time. Um, just to explain, I'm an intraday trader, but I always start with charts that are in place. So you can pause the video and read the whole thing if you want. I never hold overnight, uh, but this is a good explanation of what I do. Um, all intraday stuff, but we start with interesting daily charts that are in play. With that said, so let me go to the in play stocks I'll be watching tomorrow. Um, JKS had a nice pop. Solars are pretty weak. This one, you know, relative strength to some of the other solars, um, but it still closed well off its highs. I am going to have it on a chart. MC Diaz McDonald's nice pop today, closing about where it opened after the full day of trading. Uh, gapped up, sold off, chopped around, and ended up closing about where it opened. We see that a lot anymore, right? Um, so that one goes on watch for tomorrow. DGX had the big two-day run, kind of a quiet day, and it's starting to turn back up again. So that one goes on watch. LIFW, um, the 200-day is scrunching all this together, so you can't really tell. But you can see the big volume, uh, which would have been what? Thursday and then Friday and then today and I'll go to like 15 minute candles you probably get a better look at it that way um, There's Thursday's pop Friday climbed up and broke Thursday's high in the afternoon and then today um, Just kind of a sideways chop. So I am going to put this on watch again You can't really tell anything um, by looking at that daily because it, it's all scrunched together. But anyway, MLGO had a big pop back here, but the secondary pop is interesting that it came down, held the moving average, it's starting to curl back up. And you may notice you people in the chat room topped out at the whole number four. So that may come into play tomorrow, may get a whole number inflection point set up or something along those lines. You know, we like those whole numbers. Um, DCPH, big pop, closing well off its highs though, but we're going to put it on a chart. HUBC, I'm going to put a horizontal line at 80 cents. And, you know, the breakout on this to me was over 80 cents. It happened today, but if you look at, if you look at the intraday, look how high and far it had to climb to get to 80 cents, right? It had been climbing all day, so that's not a great recipe for taking the 80 cent break. Um, but does that mean this is a failed breakout to me? No, it just means it, it was too far too fast on an uh, intraday basis today, but it'll certainly go on watch tomorrow. I like the chart a lot. Back here it hit 83. Today it actually hit... I don't know, 83 point something. So it's interesting, right? In breakout territory. We'll see if we get a setup tomorrow. BTAI, nice little mini breakout. We'll see if we get a follow through setup. ACMR goes back on bounce watch. What, four red days in a row? Hit the 200 day today. Some price support there. So we're looking for a bounce in that one. As day traders, we look for breakouts, right? But we also look for um, stocks that are oversold because a bounce play that meets our parameters and gives a nice bounce can pay just as well as a breakout. So that one goes on a chart. Um, AMT, strong move, quiet day, and then kind of another quiet day, but you could argue it's flagging after this big move on Thursday. So that one goes on a chart. TRU has been on bounce watch for a couple days. Um, no trades in it, just goes right back on bounce watch. SAVA, big three day run, two days lower on declining volume. I'm gonna treat that as a bounce play and watch for an A plus setup. And then lastly, save which is Spirit Airlines. Um, the low back here in May, it just pushed right through that, but it's also fallen pretty far over the last few days. So maybe a snapback bounce in that one, again, only with a proper intraday setup. Um, all right, that's it for me. We'll add other um, gappers in the pre-market as we always do, and let's find some good setups tomorrow. All right, I'm done babbling. We'll see you in chat.